It's YouTube Wednesday. <laughs> so, step one in repainting an existing latex mask. Uh, I'm using this awesome mask from uh, Rawless Khan. Who, uh, it's a great two-piece mask. This piece goes on first, it's your chin, then this goes on over top. Um, it's a great mask to start off with. Uh, I just want to alter it a little bit uh, to suit my needs more. I'm going to make it a paler, paler in color so it stands out more in dim light because I know how I'm going to use it. It's a great piece, but nothing ever comes to you finished. You have to work on it to make it work for your show and your conditions. This mask uh, is going to have some kind of a protectant on it. It's also going to have some paint, maybe some oil, maybe some dust has built up on it. I don't want to paint right on top of that. So what I want to do is give it a good wipe down with something that's going to give it a good cleaning. Uh, you can use denatured alcohol. You can use um, acetone. Uh, I use naphtha. That's what I'm going to use. I think naphtha is the best. because It's the strongest. It's also the nastiest. So do this with some good ventilation. Right now my garage door is right behind you. It is wide open, and I'm putting some naphtha onto a uh, dish towel that my wife donated to the cause. So I'll put a good amount of naphtha onto there and give first the chin piece a nice wipe down, just everything. Just going to give it a good wipe down. And I'm not trying to take off this old paint, because that would mean I'm probably destroying the latex. All I'm trying to do is clean it. Uh, and get all the dust off. This is a brand new mask that I got at a show a couple days ago. So this isn't going to have a lot of stuff on it. I'm pretty sure that uh, he made this just for the show. Give me a good wipe down. Now you can see I am getting a little bit of that green paint off. But that's fine. Uh, Naphtha is some pretty powerful stuff. I'm not surprised it's doing that. Uh, because you can't really see where you're cleaning, especially when this has a shine on it. Uh, and I'm going to put a shine back on it when I'm done. But you do want to uh, kind of break the mask down into quadrants so that you can know what you have hit and what you haven't hit. I need to let this dry thoroughly and then I can move on to giving it a new base coat. I have my uh, pale green color here that I want to use as a base. This is of course latex house paint, um, water and latex, casting latex. You can use balloon rubber latex or you can use the same latex you casted the mask with. So that's what's in here, that's what is in my paint formula that I'm going to base this guy out with. Uh, I made sure my naphtha's dry. That dries pretty quick. So give these guys a base coat. My base coat now needs to dry, and then I can move on to adding detail layers. Uh, to base it out, of course, I used my $10 Harbor Freight airbrush, which uh, I use a lot. If I could only have one airbrush ever, it'd be this one. And to do detail work, I'm using a Pache H. So, I mean, I've got this nice purple bruisey color I'm going to do some uh, breakup with. That's a lot of pale green. So I'm just going to do a breakup over the big areas. And then I'll get a darker color and do some detail under, uh, under the eye, you know, some of the other shading. But this here is just going to be a breakup. So the way the Pache H works is you can dial this down or forward to expose more of the needle and make a bigger gap between the cone and the needle. The bigger the gap, the more paint comes out, which I'm keeping in this color cup right here.
Now that my detail color is on and dried, I'm going to switch to my Harbor Freight gun again and put a wash on it. Okay, uh, in this wash is Tandy Leather Stain, Gel Antique, latex, and a lot of water to thin it out. And all I'm doing is I'm letting that brown rest in all of those crevices. Because these are going to be right on top of each other. I want both pieces to have the same treatment. has to dry and as soon as it gets dry uh, I'll be able to put a clear coat on it and add my hair. I am uh, all dry. I'm going to take my chin and set it aside for now because I'm going to do some hair work on the head real quick. I have a video called Herring a Mask and uh, that's where I put hair on a werewolf. I'm using the same style of product which is this hair that you can get in almost any wig store and I, it's uh, all sewn together like this. It's amazing. Uh, I'm going to have two pieces of it, and I'm going to attach one this way, going down the back of the head, because this is kind of a half mask. All right, it's going to stop right above the ears, and then I'm put the other on, other one on, facing the other way, this way. Uh, I'm always going to wear a hood with this character. But I am gonna. I want to style the hair so it kind of hangs down. It'll help hide this seam over here, and it's also going to help hide the fact that it's only a half mask. So I'll go and put my uh, rubber cement down up on top, and on my hair pieces. I'm not going to show me putting it on those. I showed that in the other video, but I'm just painting it on, and I'm using good old contact cement, rubber cement. Are they different? Yes. Uh, I use contact cement most of the time. I say rubber cement. I'm being bad. I'm fooling you. I don't mean to fool you. It just sort of happens. So contact cement is now painted onto this top piece and it's painted onto uh, the hair itself. I want to let that cure up and while it does, I'm going to go ahead and spray the chin with something that will give it a nice shine. I'm going to use Plastidip Glossifier, which you can buy online or in some auto parts stores. I'm going to go ahead and hit the face, too, in the parts where the hair won't be. I still want that glossifier to be a bit wet when I put the hair on because it's going to help stick it down to the sides of the face, which will help keep it out of my face when I wear it. I'm really going to use that glossifier to mat this hair down. It'll help it stay in place and keep it looking wet and sea hag nasty. Gloves.
Now I just want to let it dry and I can try it all on with the hood. So putting this on first goes on your chin piece. Has two straps, one for high, one for low. Now I have a giant head, don't forget. And then put on the top mask. And then I will put on a uh, magic scarf. <laughs> have teeth in and I'll have a voice and I'll have contacts in and this will be a character <laughs> oh, yes and of course you'll put makeup on to blend all your edges and stuff so uh, this is actually a really great mask uh, he made a great mask he didn't make it for me so I bought it from him, and I made it for me and for my needs. Go make stuff!